Let's look at these answers together, the ones you've been working on. Just quickly, let's finish problem three. So 4y and 3y is 7y plus 15. And then we subtract the 15, so we have 7y equals 105. Divide both sides by 7. Can't remember what that equals. Did you guys get number 3? I think it's also 15, isn't it? Okay, good. Then this one, we add our x's together. So x plus 2x is 3x. 25 plus 20 is 45. We subtract our 45 from the other side. So we get 3x equals 135. We divide both sides by 3. So x equals, is it 45? Is that right? Good. Okay, number 7. That was the one I mostly wanted you to do. 5x and 7x is 22x. Subtract the 4, so 22x equals 176. Divide the 22, so 176 divided by 22? 8. Okay, then once we found the 8, what do we do with that? We have these vertical angles, and y equals 5x, because they're vertical, so they're going to be equal. But x is 8, so we just plug the 8 in for the x. So what does y equal? y is 40 degrees, right? So sometimes you have to use one variable in a problem to find the other one. Okay, check, let's just check number 8, 9, and 10. Two pairs of vertical angles. So what'd you get? 1 and 3. 2 and 4. Okay. Um, two pairs of supplementary angles. Okay, we could do 1 and 2. There's actually four. It says only to name two, but there's four options. You could do one and two, two and three, three and four, or four and one. So even though it said only to name two, there's four options to choose from. Okay, now number 10, name two pairs of angles which are congruent. Okay, the, they're the same answers as number eight, aren't they? The vertical angles are the ones that are congruent. So whatever your, your answers were on number 8, that's the same answer. So angle 1 is congruent to angle 3 because those are vertical. And angle 2 is congruent to angle 4 because those are vertical. All right, I wrote that a little bit different way. But. Okay, do we get that? We're able to identify these all right? I hope you get these kind of ingrained in your mind before our next assignment because we're going to learn more angle pairs on our next assignment. It's going to make it more confusing. Okay, this one's a little proof. We want to look through and figure out why this is true. So they're going to walk us through some steps so that we can answer question 15. Before we start on number 11, I want you to notice something about our picture. What do we notice about angles 1 and angle 3? They're congruent, so just notice angle 1 is congruent to angle 3. That's going to be important when we get to the end of this problem. Okay, now let's do number 11. What does angle 1 and angle 2 add up to? 180. That's because they are a linear pair, they're supplementary, whatever you want to put there. I think the answer they're looking for is supplementary, but but adjacent angles would also work because they're both. They're both adjacent and they are supplementary. So maybe I want you to write both answers. Okay, what about three and four? They add up to 180 as well because they are also supplementary and adjacent. Okay, this leads us to figuring out question 15. Explain why angle 2 is congruent to angle 4. Wait a minute. The picture doesn't say angle 2 is congruent to angle 4. Why are they suddenly asking me why those are congruent? It's not even saying that they are. It's just saying why are those congruent. That's weird. So let's ask this question first. Is angle 2 congruent to angle 4? Yeah, they are. How do we know that? Well, it's because angle 1 is congruent to angle 3. These two angles add up to 180. These two angles add up to 180. 
So by some sort of property we've already learned this year, like substitution or transitive property, one of those would work. Angle 2 has to be equal to angle 4. Imagine for a minute numbers in here instead. Let's say that this angle is 70 degrees, which means that this angle would also be 70 degrees, right? These two angles add up to 180, so what would this one be? 110. These two angles add up to 180, so what would this one be? 110. Do they have to be congruent if these are congruent? Yes, right? There's a theorem that says supplements of congruent angles are congruent. That's a, a theorem that is in your book. Supplements of congruent angles are always going to be congruent. Okay, we just kind of talked through and understood that. And there's the theorem that we've kind of proved. Okay, that's it. You now have this side of your paper to do as your assignment today. And you've got about 25 minutes. You could easily get this done and turned in today. Okay, while you're working on that, if you need help, come see me. But I'm going to be working on getting your tests corrected. I'm almost done. And hopefully I'm going to get those back to you today so that if you do finish this in class, you can then start doing test corrections on the test I'm going to hand back to you. Oh, I forgot one more thing. These three problems at the end, I want you to try them, but they are optional. I'm not sure I'm going to call them extra credits. I'm just going to make them optional, and it's possible that those problems might appear on a self-starter or something. So they're optional, but you might see them somewhere else. And all they're asking you to do is to look at the pictures and see what you can figure out. Like on this one that has the 125, you can figure out that that angle is 125 because they're vertical. You can figure out these angles because they're supplementary, right? There's things you can figure out. So it's not telling you to find one specific thing. It's asking you to, to just figure out whatever you can.